Meredith, I am here with your message for September 2019. We are using the Tarot Grand Lux for this reading. I encourage you, as always, to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus videos. It gives you the full picture of what's going on in the energy atmosphere for you in the month of September. Uh, all the videos are going to be linked for you in a playlist at the end of this one, so take the whole month to watch them and get yourself informed about the energy atmosphere. And let's jump into your reading, your card from the bottom of the deck. This is a potential theme of energy unfolding in the month of September for you. You have the Page of Wands. Ooh, raw enthusiasm there, <laughs> Aquarius. Grounded passion as well. The pages, as you know, uh, move us from the 10 the 10 in the suit, so we're moving from one phase to another, and we're a little bit inexperienced in the new phase page. Uh, but here with the page of wands, you've got grounded passion, you've got a lot of enthusiasm, and you have a really inquiring mind. This is a card of good news, good communication, and it's one of having... Uh, A measured view of things. You are not going to rush really into making choices or deciding anything firmly in the now moment. So you're going to size things up. You're going to measure things and see how they fit and feel for you. There's also uh, there's also a potential for reunion in this card. So seeing someone or more than one person uh, that maybe you haven't seen or spent any time with in a long while you may cross paths with them when you see this this page so this these are energies that are influencing the month or experiences that will turn up for you and let's see how it relates to the rest of the cards now at the time of this reading we're on Saturday the 7th so the first week of September is nearly complete. So allow this first card representing your first week to be a bit of confirmation for the week for you. And you have the Five of Wands. Well, you're still in the fiery suit of wands. And the Five is somewhat of uh, petty inner arguing. So you could be uh, duking it out with your ego voice this week. You could have been duking it out with your ego voice. And that... That really fits for all the personal readings that I've done this week and my own experiences. That energy has been right on the surface for a lot of people. And, you know, working through old fears. Uh, in the daily readings, I, I think I recall saying, you know, there you are minding your own bliss, having a great old time, happy as a lark, and then your ego pops up and... Uh, really tries to take over the whole show and control it all and then you have to pause in that blissful flow and deal with it and that's what's happening here in the five of wands so this is a card to remind us all to be compassionate with the inner ego voice it's showing up it's popping up because we have strength to address it we have courage to love it and remember that this is something temporary it's passing so if we give it some validation and some love, it can pass gracefully. Or we can hop on that old familiar hamster wheel and run with it for a while <laughs> until we wear ourselves out, right? So consider that. If that's gone on in your first week, uh, take the moment now. Take it right now to uh, have some loving compassion for your own self. Put your hands over your heart. Take some deep breaths, reaffirm your attention, intentions and affirmations, and uh, maybe do a few rounds of the Ho'oponopono prayer, right? <laughs> it's a good time for that. All right. Uh, second week of September, your card is the Four of Pentacles. Well, not an unlikely card to show up after the first week of September, potentially being this way for you, Aquarius. The Four of Pentacles, first, it's a super strong foundation. So here again is the rem reminder that we have the strength and the will and the determination to deal with whatever that ego voice is going to dish up or whatever scenarios and circumstances have flowed into our world from the ego voice of other people, <laughs> not taking responsibility for it. 
and looking to us for guidance or perhaps even some compassion and lending a hand. So let's do that if we can, if it's appropriate. However, there is a message here of hold your horses, pause, consider lending that assistance, be, you know, be a beacon of light, offer up some guidance, but don't take on responsibility that isn't yours. And uh, this card encourages us to pause, but not necessarily stay in the pause. It's coming back to the page, take a measured view, size things up, and then continue to move forward. This four gets a little bit of a bad rap for being a miser energy, as if we would not give or we would not share. Of course we would. We have to be wise enough to know when we are giving or sharing to a void. And that's what the four reminds us of. Let's come back to uh, the Ace of Cups that we've seen so frequently in the daily readings this whole week. It's shown up in the card proper, and it has shown up on other cards in the daily readings. And that reminder is to give from the overflow. So you have a divine and cosmic gift being poured into your life from the universe. It's filling your cup, and you give from the overflow. The four reminds you of that as well. If your overflow has reduced to a trickle, that's when you pause. That's when you size things up, and you make good decisions that help you replenish the flow before you're giving again, okay? Third week of September, this is right around the autumn equinox, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, beautiful. It's number 10 in the major arcana, so there's fulfillment here. There is completion of sorts. And what happens in the major arcana when we see the Wheel of Fortune is that we move from uh, something that's somewhat limiting in our earthly waking consciousness into an expanding, deepening, soulful frequency that furthers our spiritual journey and our inner work. So that's what's happening right there around the equinox for you, Aquarius. You're making some spiritual discoveries. You're having some epiphanies, some aha moments. And it, it brings us back to the page again where you have something new and fresh. You may be inexperienced with what's coming off this wheel, but you're going to bring the totality of your experience thus far to it. And let's see what it turns into. In the fourth week, you have the Hermit Enlightenment. Beautiful. So look, look here. You start at the, uh, the first week, excuse me, of September with potentially some petty inner arguments from your ego voice. And through the month, you work it out. You work it through. You turn it over on the wheel here. You bring some fresh new perspective, enthusiasm, and grounded passion to it. You take a measured view of things. And then you have the hermit at the end of the month holding up that light. That's you. You are the light. You are the beacon. And you see this in its fullness. And it's very exciting to you. It's really informative. It helps you make new wise choices for yourself. And it inspires you to add this amazing loving frequency to the foundation you now stand on beautifully done Aquarius that's amazing inner work right there let's move on now to the oracle cards we have the indigo angel oracle deck I've asked this deck what the indigo angels most want to share with you at this time and you receive patience <laughs> Oh, that word vexes me. It really does. <laughs> oh, I can still hear my great-grandmother telling me to have patience. <laughs> and me telling her I wasn't born with them. So I've switched up the language here. I, I refer to patience now as allowing. There is a process to things. Allowing feels like participation for me. Uh, so take that for what it's worth. If it's valuable to you, incorporate it into your spiritual knowing. Uh, but patience to, to me, lifelong, uh, has felt a bit like frustration and waiting. And I definitely enjoy being in participation. So allowing feels good to me. Step into the river and flow of life and allow. Go with the flow. There is a season to all things. And uh, just yesterday I saw this wonderful uh, thing on Instagram by Phil Good. And he had written... Uh, something to the effect of why are you in such a rush for your manifestation whatever happened to cosmic foreplay 
which is really all about savoring the now moment, right? So savor the process, allow the process, cherish it. It's, it's your precious now moment. Enjoy. Okay, your next card comes from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. And I asked for a message of love and romance for Aquarius at this time. And your card is... <laughs> Have patience. <laughs> oh, I know. So many of you just clicked right off this video, right? <laughs> love is patient and kind, always. Yeah. So is allowing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Your next card comes from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck. I asked this deck, what is unfolding in the spiritual journey for Aquarius at this time? And your card is cleansing waters, purification, activates, vibrant life force. Yes, this is what happens in the Wheel of Fortune. This is what happens in these new, grounded, passionate, enthusiastic experiences. And this is exactly what helps you shine your light so bright, Aquarius. Purification and cleansing. <laughs> Patiently. <laughs> All right. Uh, Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. Your card. Ask them the same question. Uh, what would they most like to share with you in the month of September? And you have Animal Guardian. Trust your instincts. Yes. Listen to your intuition. Trust your instinct. Both of them together combined are really, really powerful. So do that, enjoy that, apply it to everything that's here for you. Thank you so much for watching Aquarius. Again, watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus videos. Do leave a comment if it's in your heart to do so. And don't forget to check out the daily readings here on the YouTube channel. Bye for now, Aquarius. Peace, love, joy, and blessings to each and every one of you.